A lot of people ask me about the risks and benefits of using Finasteride. I've been talking about Halo solutions for years and I know there's still a lot of confusion around this medication. So let's go over the key things you need to know about Finasteride. First, Finasteride is a pill you take once a day and it works by lowering a hormone called DHT in your body. DHT is one of the main reasons for Halos in people with male pattern baldness. By reducing DHT, Finasteride helps slow down hair loss and can even encourage some hair regrowth. It's important to note that Finasteride isn't an instant fix. It can take a few months to start noticing results and you will need to keep taking it to maintain those results. So if you're looking for something that works overnight, Finasteride isn't that kind of solution. But if you're patient, and consistent, Finasteride can really make a difference. One thing that often worries people are the potential side effects. Some people report issues such as decreased libido or mood changes. However, these side effects are pretty rare and most people don't experience any issues at all. It's also very important to talk with your doctor about any concerns you have. They can help you decide if Finasteride is right for you. Now, another concern people have is with having children while using Finasteride. The good news is that that finasteride does not necessarily affect your ability to have children. However, if you're planning to have a family, you can stop taking finasteride during the time you are trying to conceive and then resume taking it once you had your child. This is something you can also discuss with your doctor if it's an important issue for you. Another common question people have is, what happens if I stop using finasteride? Well, just like with minoxidil, if you stop taking finasteride, your hair will eventually go back to what it would have been if you would have never started using the medication. This doesn't mean you will lose all your hair, but the benefits will fade over time. I think it's a mistake to avoid finasteride just because of this. It's like eating healthy. Just because you might lose some of the benefits if you stop, it doesn't mean it wasn't worth it to begin with. And remember, genetic hair loss is progressive. This means that if left untreated, it will likely get worse over time. Finasteride can help slow it down, which can be really valuable for the people looking to keep what they have. These are some of the main things people need to know about Finasteride. I hope this helps clear up some confusion. If you want to learn more about Halo Solutions, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos.